Hello, in this video I want to show you how to enter do not disturb mode and explain all of its settings for Android 13. So in order to do this it may vary on uh, different devices but uh, usually it's the same. So let's open up our settings. Here find sound and vibration on other devices it might be in uh, notifications and if you can't find it in uh, both of them you can always use the search settings so enter do not disturb mode and you should find it but uh, now let's open uh, our sound and the vibrations because it's right here there's a do not disturb mode if we click on it more settings will be revealed and i'm gonna get you through all of them also, another way to enable it is to scroll down your notification bar. Here I have it, you might have it in a different place or not at all right here, but uh, if not, then there's uh, this uh, pen button always in your notification shortcuts and that way you'll be able to find your do not disturb mode and uh, add it or remove it. So now uh, just click on it and that way you also enter do not disturb mode. If you hold your finger onto it, it will move you directly to the settings. Right here you can either disable or enable it uh, and uh, change any of its settings. So the first one is what can interrupt you in a do not disturb mode. There's a people, apps, alarms and other interruptions. If you select people, you'll be able to pick which uh, people are able to, to call you or message you in this mode. So let's go to messages. And here you can use start contacts, contacts, priority conversations, anyone or none. So just select which, uh, which of these uh, people are able to reach you. Start contacts are usually your um, favorite contacts, the, from, just contacts added for, to the favorites list. In the calls you can uh, enable any of this which I just talked about in the messages but also there's option for allow repeated callers. So if the same person calls you a second time within the 15, 15 min minutes period, it will call normally as you wouldn't be in, in uh, do not disturb mode. Now let's go back here. Uh, we have also apps and you'll be able to add any apps to this mode to work with your do not disturb mode. If there's no apps that means no app will be able to send you notifications now let's go back there's also alarms and other interruptions and if you click on it there'll be more settings uh, which are visible or hearable in do not disturb mode those alarms media sounds touch sounds reminders and calendar events go back and there's a schedules so you can schedule a specific time when uh, do not disturb mode it's a DND shortcut for it. Let's call it like that from now on. And here you can set up any schedule. So it will turn on automatically at a specific time, like uh, during sleeping right here. There's duration for quick settings. And right here, if you enable it, for example, for one hour or ask every time, that uh, means if you open your do not disturb mode in notification bar, it will um, ask you for uh, how long or set for a specific time that you've just picked. There's a, there's a display options for hidden notifications. And here you can change uh, what to do in a do not disturb modes for your hidden notifications. So no sound from notifications or no visual sounds from notifications. You won't see or hear notifications. So that's basically it for uh, Do Not Disturb mode and that's it for this video. Hope you like it, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave a like and a comment below.